Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see how to parameterize data using NeoLoad. I am going to record a new script uh, stores using the material management display application. So I go here, then I type admin, admin, I get into this application. I want to add a store okay so this will have right now there is it is empty I say store uh, 001 description 001 and then uh, address is uh, Chennai sorry address is uh, Main Street Chennai so I add one record I finish this and then I stop recording. As usual, let it look for the dynamic parameters, finish that. And then, by the time it, it does this, we will go to this application and then delete that stores. So let me go to this stores, I delete this one so that when we verify it, we'll get added once again. Okay, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, click. So if you look here, it logs in, it works, this is the stores. So in the stores, we are adding store 01, description, etc, etc. Ultimately, we are going to parameterize this code and then the street address and the city. Okay. So let us try to do this. But before that, let us verify whether the script works fine now. Always remember, soon after recording, make sure your script works fine. So let us do that. So it starts. It works fine. Then I go to this application. Let us go to the stores. Yep, it gets added. No problem. So once again I delete this. Now the script is ready. The script is done. And uh, right now I need to parameterize. So what we have done is we have parameterized I have created an Excel sheet, my data, and then it says code, address, and city. It has got three columns. I have added this information over here. Now, all I do is I save this file as my data dot CSV. Okay, a comma separated value. Okay, my data dot CSV fine this is okay now I close this so it become a comma separated value I want to replace this code from that file but before that you have to go to the variables manager to parameterize I add a new variable it has got a lot of variable types of which I choose file this is the file so I say the file is uh, my store data this is the name. I want to choose the file. I want to choose it. You choose the CSV file. Okay. You can also choose Excel, but I prefer CSV file. Now, if you see here, it put all the records over here. I need to say the column separator is comma. The moment I say that, then the way it loads, you have to refresh it. Then you could see all the data coming over here. But the first record, you need to say the use first line as column headings. Now it becomes the column heading and this becomes the uh, data. So what I'm going to do is for each iteration of the user change the data. So rather than these policies, I'm saying I'm going to run multiple iterations. You will see on each iteration, the data will change so when it populates into the system, it will populate the data from this file. So I gave the name, selected the file, set the separator, set the first line, set the policy as on each iteration. Then I close this one. Then I apply, close this. Here is the trick. I want to change this data. Double click. Right now it's a hard coded value. Rather, select this option. Now it says my store data dot address or city or code. So 
this is the code so use the data from this column my store data dot code replace the current value now it replaces with the dollar sign and the angle braces click OK I don't want to replace the description but I want to replace the street address double click same technique this is a hard coded data while recording click on this take the data from the address field then for this city take the data from the city field click OK save this once this is done you have parameterized the data go to the populations add another population I say stores then OK in this stores I am going to use this script store script so use this store script save this so we have two populations one is for the material request and another is for stores I am going to run only stores from now on but before that as usual make sure the think time on each page I am reducing this think time to say uh, uh, 2000 milliseconds on each of these pages I am just restricting to 2000 milliseconds give 3000 then uh, okay 2000 that should be fine so I save this now I come to runtime under runtime instead of material request I want to run the stores users so I select the stores population now I'm saying by iteration 10 users 3 iterations we have got 30 data in that file so what we are doing to do is 10 users 3 iterations each so each user will, will run for 3 times and all the 30 data will get populated right now in the stores page there is no data once the script runs you will see all the data you have given in the CSV file since they are parameterized these 10 users will add it to this application let us see run it so params just clicking OK let it start running so you will start 10 users will run 3 iterations 30 data will get populated to this application if the application does not accept duplicate data you need to provide unique data in that CSV file that is very important if you give duplicate data your application may reject it say so right now there are 30 hits going on uh, 10 users are running the red line indicates some errors usually if you have 404 errors some file not found you will get this error but at the end of the test you need to go to the application verify whether data gets added now let me refresh look here already 17 items have been added yes 50,001, 50,002, 50,003 Market Street Chennai, Finn Road Trichy, Oliver Boulevard Madurai, Crompton Street Kowai, Router Boulevard Salem so if you see here all the 10 users they are running so once they finish I think this test has finished let us go back to the application it's total iteration is 30 I go back here refresh the screen you see 30 items are added to the application so yes 50,001 to the last yes 50,030 the last all these data you see a variety of data coming from a file this is how you parameterize data using NeoLoad. It's a very simple thing. All you need to do is parameterize the data using a file. With that, we end this session. Thanks for visiting openmentor.net.